Hello everyone, this is my first video on this uh, channel and uh, I have another channel in Italian and uh, the topic of this video is uh, about uh, Linux and uh, recording uh, videos and audio that uh, it is uh, re really important <laughs> for me uh, because I have to do videos, right? Because I like to do it in my free time. So, what's the problem? Um, the audio on uh, Linux is uh, always been pretty bad. Uh, if we to think about uh, Pulse Audio, then I know that uh, there's the jack uh, option for professional uh, recordings, but I've never uh, used it. And uh, I, I will surely look for it uh, in, the, in the future. Right now I'm using Pipewire and uh, yeah, I'm using somewhat the, the Jack Pipewire um, uh, conversion, let's say. I, I don't really know uh, well well enough this, uh, how this works, but uh, it works and uh, I will show you. Right now, let's, let's go to the desktop. I, all right, so now you can see my OBS and I have uh, the audio of the desktop and the microphone that are jack, uh, jack inputs and I have uh, jack uh, QT jack uh, QT jack CTL uh, with the graph connected with my, the microphone uh, I only need the microphone right now so I, I connected only that and uh, it works pretty well and this is using Pipewire 3.70 uh, dot o and uh, dot zero and um, yeah this works pretty well but this works pretty well when I'm using this particular kernel when I'm using uh, the kernel 6.1.26 real-time kernel uh, stuff um, works pretty well and I, I have some occasional crack, some occasional pop in the audio, but it is really something um, minor. And uh, to give credit to who maintains this, uh, uh, this kernel, and uh, I'm using Fedora, um, Fedora 37, there's this guy, uh, Jan Colette, uh, and I think he is a French uh, guy that... Uh, uh, maintains uh, how Linux uh, uh, repository where uh, you can uh, write this is not the right page uh, yeah copper this one and you can install uh, enable this this uh, this repository and, uh, and install the kernel uh, uh, that it gives to you that is a vanilla kernel with uh, uh, RT patches and uh, yeah, it works pretty well, but this particular version, because uh, he has also updated uh, the kernel to the 6.1.28 uh, version, and there I have, uh, again, crackling. And uh, I'm using this kernel after having uh, tried the Fedora default kernel, kernels, so... Yeah, and then I have tried uh, the vanilla Linux kernel, and uh, I will show you that you can uh, you can install uh, Fedora kernels, also old Fedora kernels from this site, and this is Fedora update system, and uh, yeah, I'm talking about Fedora in this case, but uh, in general, it it is something that you can uh, um, apply to your uh, distro uh, to your distribution with different sites where you can enable repositories or maybe you have already uh, by default repositories to try old kernels and uh, the real-time ones if you have this kind of problems that I have and um, here you, you can search for the kernel and uh, oh misclicked sorry then you have to choose the, what you want, uh, and uh, maybe you want this one, and uh, this is uh, the testing one. You can uh, even install it by 
just uh, copying and pasting this um, this uh, this command on a terminal, uh, or if it is an old kernel, you have to go to the builds and uh, and download the RPMs. In in this case, the uh, the packages to to install the kernel. And uh, I'm using a system that uh, I think it is not junk. It has uh, uh, a Ryzen CPU, a, a R5 uh, 30500X, so it is a 6 core, 6 threads, uh, Zen 2 CPU. It's not uh, the latest high end uh, CPU, it, it never was high end, uh, but uh, it is decent, I think, to just record audio. And uh, I have an NVIDIA C GPU, sorry, a video card uh, that is uh, uh, the RTX 2060 Super. And uh, I've done some trick to install the driver with the, the real-time uh, kernel. That is not really difficult in reality to, to do. And um, let's see if I can... All right, that's this, uh, this, uh, this page on GitHub that uh, says that you have just to, to use this uh, variable to, to install it. All right, so I'm doing all this talking because uh, uh, now you know my my setup, what is, uh, I have a Ryzen CPU, a NVIDIA video card, uh, the NVIDIA's uh, the proprietary driver, and uh, I've tested many, many kernels, and I found out that this kernel in particular is pretty good for me, and uh, I think that now I will reboot uh, in a different kernel, probably the latest one, uh, Vanilla, and... Um, I will uh, I will talk to the, to the to the microphone and you should be able to hear some um, some problems in the audio like uh, pops or cracks uh, or uh, whatever you you want to call call them. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's reboot the system. Here we go, and uh, let's open a terminal. All right, this is the latest Fedora, uh, sorry, this is the latest kernel, uh, Linux kernel vanilla, so it is not uh, uh, really the Fedora one, because the Fedora's uh, uh, ones have uh, some kind of patch, I don't know, and and to install this kind of, of kernels, I will show you also how to do this, uh, you have just to... To go to the vanilla kernels, like uh, I've installed the mainline that I think it is the anyone who wants to run the kernel bit from the latest Linux code base, so without any paths. And uh, I've gone here and uh, I started uh, enable this uh, this uh, this repository and install the latest kernel, which is this one 6.3.3, and uh, I think that. Uh, that yeah, you should uh, have heard some uh, some glitching. I, I I will be extremely surprised if you didn't because I'm pretty much sure that uh, this uh, again, this setup gives some glitching, and uh, there's a um, a thing that is uh, uh, very um, I don't know how to um, I will show you. <laughs> Uh, yes. Mm, wait. At default, grab. Sorry. <laughs> this flag of pre preempt full to to add to your uh, flags uh, of uh, of booting flags for the kernel to have a better experience with uh, let's say the full kernel from Fedora and. Uh, this vanilla one, I, I think also that uh, can can use this, this flag, but uh, in my experience, uh, it it is good. It it uh, tries to 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 make the audio better, let's say, but uh, doesn't really work for me. Uh, so yeah, I should have talked about everything, and uh, I, I'm using a microphone that uh, is a USB microphone. It is a Fifine. Uh, 
T600 69, I think. It is a full kit and it is pretty well uh, reviewed, uh, reviewed from reviewers on, on the internet uh, because it is cheap and uh, works pretty well, uh, at least on Windows. And um, I have this kind of, of problem since, or it's better to say from, uh, uh, from years because I had problems with. Uh, with Pulse Audio, but it was more uh, an output problem than a microphone problem. Uh, then now I have uh, problems with pipe wire, with uh, the microphone mostly, but also playing games, I hear cracks where, while I'm playing games. And uh, and yeah, the kernel that I've show, showed you before was pretty, pretty good, uh, while uh, any other kernel works like uh, you are hearing right now. And uh, yeah, it's pretty... It is it is pretty pretty bad pretty bad to to, to have this kind of uh, of experience and uh, you don't know really where to report all this stuff because uh, I have already reported it to the Pipewire uh, uh, GitLab. Uh, I opened uh, an issue and uh, some other guy has some problem like me. Uh, my issue was uh, this one, where I, I written about uh, that I can't get my USB microphone to record good audio, but it is not just the microphone, uh, as I say in the, in the full discussion, but uh, my, my whole uh, audio in general is not, uh, is not good. And... Uh, uh, I'm keeping to do this uh, this video with uh, this kernel, but uh, I know that it, it will not uh, sound good. But uh, then you 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 can understand the problem, <laughs> and um, oh, it should be be fine in in the sense that you are able to to hear me and stuff. But you will will hear uh, some uh, glitches in in the audio, which is not good. And Okay, so there's the, the GitLab pipe where, where you can uh, you can uh, open some issue, but then uh, uh, even the, the main developer will pr pretty much say that uh, he think that is a, a kernel issue and uh, or a kernel regression. I even I have even uh, tried uh, kernel sys point zero point seven, I think, and there's the the issue is still there. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have try tried to go uh, with all the older five uh, <laughs> version kernel, right? Five point uh, and so on. Uh, this this uh, and um, and yeah, you you can try to to think about uh, uh, to report to the kernel devs, but they want a kernel that is vanilla without any driver installed, like I have to reinstall Nouveau again. And I've already tried it uh, with Nouveau and the problem is it is still there, it is not uh, an NVIDIA driver problem. And they want you to talk to them with mails and stuff like that is not really uh, something I, I I have done in the past. I, I will, It is doable, I will try to do that uh, probably, but yeah. And uh, I think this is it. I I think I've said that everything about it. So if you want uh, more details, uh, there's this issue. But I I think I've said pretty much anything in this uh, in this video. And uh, if you have problems with Pipewire while trying to record yourself, uh, I don't know how how to help you. Uh, if not, uh, saying that uh, I found this uh, this kernel that uh, it is a six point one point twenty six. Uh, for Fedora real time in, in that repository that works well and the other ones all works, uh, work uh, bad and, uh, and this is it I think uh, I, I, can, <laughs> I can close this video and uh, see you next time bye, thanks for watching